Away we go from American Family Field. Judge with 57 homers, 123 RBIs. He is chasing Roger Maris's American League record and Yankee record for home runs in a season. It's been a record that has held up for 61 years. And he is four shy. And at this point, the Brewers have not seen him touch them all yet, which is a good thing. They'd like to get him out of town before he hits number 58. Brewers have pitched him tough. He and Stanton have not done a whole lot in this series so far. Judge has got his hits, but no big damage as he waves and misses. Good sinker. Alexander really has a nasty sinking fastball. That's what he's chasing right now. Aaron Judge with 57. He's two behind Ruth. And then, of course, Roger Maris. And his 61 home run, the asterisk <laughs> home run, as it was stated back then, because the schedule had gone from 154 to 162. Much different kind of home run chase for Aaron Judge than it was for Maris trying to catch Ruth. 3 2 is ripped into center field, and it is going to be caught. Oh, what a play by Taylor! Wow! Judge hit it right on the barrel. And Taylor got a great jump, runs right to the spot, makes a brilliant catch. And hit it so hard it didn't have any opportunity to slice out there. That went right over Taylor's head, which makes that a much more difficult play to judge and to be able to get back and make that catch. Heck of a job by Tyrone Taylor. 115.4 miles an hour off the bat. Wow. My goodness. About as hard as you can hit one. And Taylor with a defensive gem right out of the gates. Big old hang with him for Aaron Judge. Here's Anthony Rizzo now. Rizzo, you can see they got subtle movement on it. And if he's got his command, he can be tough to handle. Gives you a frustrating day at the plate. He was dominating in AAA. That's why he got his uh, call up to the big leagues. Because he's an undrafted guy and Alexander has had to be not just successful at every level, but extreme success to even get on the radar of organizations. And the Brewers certainly recognize his efforts at the AAA level. And he's done a good job here for the Brewers. Just filling in that gap. There's Judge. That one's deep. And that one's not coming back. Aaron Judge. Rips one deep into the lows level in right field. Number 58 for Aaron Judge. And now he's three away from the Yankee record. Right-handed hitter hitting him where the lefties hit him. Way back and right. Opposite field home run. That ball didn't sink at all. Out over the plate. 111.6 miles an hour off the bat on a 2 0 pitch. Does not miss mistakes. And 58 homers, 124 RBIs now. Man, you don't see right handers go up there very often. Now it's Rizzo with one away. one of the all time great seasons in the history of the game on all levels too and it's not just the offense that he brings which is significant excellent defender great throwing arm leader off the field yeah he says he's a good teammate he's one guy to go up and put his arm around a guy that's having a rough stretch she caught it yeah, keep hold of that <laughs> That's a good safe place for it. <laughs> She's got number 58. 2 0 the count. Rizzo takes a strike. The Aaron Judge race to history and the Albert Pujols career home run race to history has been something to watch. Yeah, it has. It's been. 
similar to what we experienced back in 1998. And obviously the PED cloud that hangs over those home run stretches. We didn't know that at the time. But this has been something to watch this year. And remember the question was who would have a better chance to get to the milestone judge 61 or pool hole 700 and now it looks like they both they both might get there. Rizzo out in front pulls one into the net. Yeah, and how many people bought a ticket to the series to see just that Aaron Judge hit a home run. Sure you want the Brewers to win the Brewers fans at least and a lot of Yankee fans in the ballpark to come here to see a guy do that. Nothing wrong with that. Full count to Rizzo, and that's a fly ball to right, back onto this rim throw, and this one's gone. Hit it to the perfect spot, that short porch and right, and Rizzo in his return he is two for two, and the Yankees are within a run. Back to back home runs, Judge and Rizzo. And he did not even go on a rehab assignment, he missed a lot of time. Taking batting practice, that was a change up. Down in the zone, not a bad pitch by Alexander, but Rizzo able to go down and get it and knock it out of here. Sure, it's part of the ballpark. All about the home run today, isn't it? No question. Ball's flying. Warm day. Yankees with three homers, Brewers with two, and all the runs on the board. Courtesy of the home run ball at this point. The game, he will face Aaron Judge, who starts the fifth inning. Judge lined out his first time up, and then in the third, pops number 58. Statcast powered by Google Cloud. It traveled 414 feet. And the historical run continues for Aaron Judge. So right now fourth most homers in Yankee history one more he ties the Babe from the 21 season and then Babe Ruth had the record when he hit 60 in 1927 61 years when Maris hit 61 and 61 that's a lot of 61s. The symmetry continues it was 34 years before Maris broke Babe Ruth's record. Let's see how Milner attacks judge feels like he's hitting everything right now. Matter of fact his line out in the first inning hit it harder than his homer. Aaron Judge Rock in his last 14 games including today has 24 hits in 50 at bats. And he's got 12 walks. His OPS is over 1,500. When the rest of the Yankees have not hit, Judge has continued. A strike. That's where you got to pitch him. It's dangerous in there, but that's the spot. And yeah, Woodruff tried to get one by him down and in on the sinker, and he ripped it down the line for a double. You can't be missing out over the plate at all against this guy. And a quick release that time. Milner going for the sneak attack, and he missed, and it's three and two. Brewers lead by a run. Top of the Yankee order. And the three two. Judge takes ball four. At least you know where he's at. Probably going to be the last hitter for Co Hobie Milner. He got a right hander getting loose down in the pen. Topa getting ready. After Rizzo, three consecutive right handers. Topa was big for the Brewers on Friday, what turned into a bullpen game. Now Rizzo, who has singled and homered. Third batter face for Milner.
Rizzo tracks one in for a strike. Rizzo's tough on lefties too, and obviously he sees a lot of lefties, but he doesn't give you much room on the inner half. He stands right on top of the plate, so the window in there is so small. Milner trying to hit that inside corner. You run the risk of hitting Rizzo, or on the other side, you run the risk of leaving it over the plate. And that's what he wants. Look at that back foot right in on the corner. Rizzo's been hit by 18 pitches this year. Always among league leaders in that category. And now he dumps one into left field. So much for Rust. Anthony Rizzo coming back from the injured list. And he's three for three. And now the right hander's coming up. Here comes Craig Council. So Milner issues a walk and a single, and the Yankees are threatening. And Council will start the wheel. Reliever number two they hit 50 homers in a year. And Aaron Judge popped number 58. That was a home run back in the third inning. Look at the gap between Judge and Schwarber. 19 homers separating number one and number two in the majors. And just to give you an idea of the dominant season that he has had, one of the all time great seasons. And he will start it against Luis Perdomo. Yeah, Perdomo pitched on Tuesday against the Cardinals. Got his second win of the year, three innings, really good work. Three innings, three hits, one run for Perdomo against St. Louis. Judge rips one to left for a base hit. And Yelich will hold him to a single. Second hit of the game for Judge. Everything he's hit's been on the barrel. And fastball up. That's not his game. He gets ground balls. Left that one up, and Judge able to center on it. Top spin liner in front of Christian Yelich. And once again, Judge is aboard to start an inning, just like last inning. Here's Rizzo now, who's three for three. First game back. Rizzo hit his 31st homer of the year. And now Hicks deep in the right, and he's watching this one go. Aaron Hicks unloads on one. And the Yankees have opened it up here in the seventh inning. Now 9 4. And Aaron Hicks with his seventh home run of the season. He might be getting hot here just at the right time for the Yankees. He's had a good series. Four home runs on the day for New York. That two seamer didn't do anything straight as a string, 80 or 96 miles an hour. And as soon as he hit it, he knew it. Watch him drop the bat. Yep, I got it. Five run lead. And now it's Judge once again. Fifth trip to the plate. Two hits, a walk, and a line drive out. Hardest hit ball he's had all day. Oh, he let it fly that time, and it's one and one. Joe Kelly. I beg your pardon, Trevor Kelly. Not Joe Kelly. Judge pulls one foul. That was a promising start of the day for the Brew Crew. But it's been all Yankees since the third inning. Yankees pitching staff has settled down. Four consecutive scoreless innings for the Brewers offense. Here's Judge again. And number 59 for Aaron Judge. Two home runs today. And Judge now knocking out the door. Just two home runs shy of Roger Maris's American League record. 
Wow, a bomb. Yeah, he just makes it look so easy, doesn't he, on a one-two pitch? A slider right down the middle up. Got to enjoy this one in the wheelhouse. And Judge isn't missing those these days. Just a nice, easy swing and way back and left. <laughs> Number 59 for Aaron Judge. A 443-foot blast. And a second home run of the afternoon. That'll be the last batter that Perdomo faces. And the negotiations are on to get that ball back. That is an amazing comp accomplishment, the triple crown. Judge is now hitting 315 rock. I don't think the Yankees have ever had a triple crown winner. Luke Gehrig, I beg your pardon. Rock's first here in the league. <laughs> yep, Luke Gehrig. That's what it is right now. Right off the end of the bat, Taylor. Clark Schmidt will make the play two outs. It's a soft liner to right, and that's down a base hit. Counter for left will stop at third. Aaron Hicks has his second hit, and Aaron Judge is going to get another at bat. MVP chance. Judge will step in with runners at the corners. He's never had a three homer game in his career. His next homer will be number 60. Judge hit number 58 in the third and number 59 in the seventh. He has matched Roots total from 1921, third most in Yankee history. At the time was a major league record. Broke his own in 1927. And Judge in the air to left center field. Yelich will watch it bounce off the wall. Extra base hit for Aaron Judge. Two runs are going to score. And Judge with a monster afternoon. Four hits. Four runs batted in. And he makes it 12 to 6. It's like a video game to this guy. That's how easy he's making it look. One of the toughest things to do in sports is to hit a baseball, and he is making it look easy. A slider didn't do anything. We was fortunate he didn't get under that a little bit. That would have been another home or a double to score two. Aaron Judge is showing why he's the best in the business. Having a terrific series. Another one coming off the bat hot. Third time in his career he's had four hits and two homers in a game second this year what a player it'll go down as one of the all time greatest seasons in the history of baseball and he's got a lot of season left Rizzo skies one to right Shallow right, Wong is out there, and that will retire the side. But Aaron Judge, he's put on a show all series. Two homers, four hits today, four runs batted in, and it's 12-6 Yankees.